Hey, it's Rob with ChromeSpot.com. I'm here with the Samsung Chromebook. It got it plugged in, as you can see now. We did the unboxing. It didn't turn on right away. Guess it needs to be charged. So we now have it plugged in, and we want to test this infamous one-minute setup time uh, that Google and Samsung uh, are touting with Chrome OS. So we are going to uh, open it up and get your timer ready. You can see right there in the bottom right, It is on. Let me get my Wi-Fi password ready because, of course, uh, this bad boy only works with Wi-Fi or an internet connection. Actually, it will work with 3G if you get one of the 3G models. Select a network. Join other networks since I guess it booted up so fast that the Wi-Fi wasn't even able to select. So we've got... And ready. Uh oh, are you kidding me? Now this is going to be ruined. Sorry, Google. I made a typo. So it's probably not going to be a minute. It's going to be a human error, own goal, self kill for the non one minute boot up time so we're just going to accept and continue but this is pretty uh, fast process considering the first time you usually get a computer there's a long process involved with getting it up and running getting the stuff you want installed now the whole concept of Chrome OS is that it has uh, pretty much does everything on the web. I mean, more and more things are happening in the cloud. Um, you know, Google and, and Apple are coming out with these cloud services. There's, uh, you can store your music on the cloud. You've got your email on the cloud. There's Google Docs and uh, other documents and calendar stuff. Everything is going on and saved out there on the web. So no matter where you go, where there's an internet connection, you simply log into your account um, and you've got all the documents wherever you are. And of course now with the proliferation of Wi-Fi and uh, web connectivity and you know 3G and 4G connections, pretty much anywhere you go you can have access to the internet if you've got some type of uh, service with a, a mobile broadband carrier or, or whatnot. So um, the, the concept of Chromebook or, and Chrome OS may not have worked in the past, but uh, we're getting to that point that critical point in the technology cycle where uh, where it's it's not only possible but it's uh, it's realistic and it's helpful so it looks like the <laughs> this is not going to be a minute setup I guess there's uh, an OS install needed for uh, for this so between when they you know shipped out the device uh, or you know, produced it and put the OS on it, and when they shipped it out, there was an, a clearly an upgrade in the operating system. So sorry, that one minute time frame for the first time probably isn't going to be the case, depending on when and where you buy your Chromebook. I mean, it could be uh, could be different depending on when it was manufactured and what time it was shipped out. Uh, we're going to sit through this and wait just so we can get an idea of how long it. It's going to take, of course, this video is getting nearing the four minute mark, and that bar is uh, taking quite a, a long time. This reminds me, actually, this is kind of deja vu. This same exact thing happened uh, when, when we tested out the CR48 Chrome uh, notebook, and we were like, what's up with this whole fast? But once we get it up and running, it should be quick, easy on, easy off. Um, let's take a look, I guess, around the around the uh, around the Chromebook. The trackpad's pretty nice. It's of course one big button, so it's got multi-touch features, types of things. So if you like click it once, then it's just a regular click. Click it twice, you can do things. You can like scroll by uh, using two fingers and um, and do a lot of nice different shortcuts. One another thing to notice about the Chromebook is there is no caps key. There's just this dedicated search key, which people have been talking a lot about. Um, not sure what else. Oh, I didn't even pull this. 
out before. Does this come with a... Nope, so there's no SD card pre-installed. Let's take a little gander at these. I'm sorry, this is probably the most un, un, you know, interesting speed test or whatever on the planet. But it's our duty to follow through and do the whole thing and see how long it takes. Um, basic items. Interesting. Actually, not that really interesting at all. Oh, now we got interesting. There's the front view. So here they show you and break it down for the noobs out there. Me, sometimes included. What you know, each of these elements are. Of course, they've got the uh, the camera on top, so you can do your web chatting and and whatnot. There's the microphone. Illumination sensor. Um, yeah. Oh, and there's the SIM card. So the SIM card's right up here. A lot of these ports look very similar. So you look at it for the first time, like, which one is this? So this shows you the quick setup on this. Right. Step one. Yeah, we did that. We have not gotten to the sign-on part, which should get you there much quicker than this. Let's see. This is going to be ironic, I think. Uh, plug in the power, open the lid, and you still got a long way to go. <laughs> instant web. Chromebooks boot in less than 10 seconds and resume instantly. Your favorite websites load quickly and run smoothly with full support for the latest web standards in Adobe Flash. The best part, Chromebooks stay on, not only stay fast, but are designed to get faster over time as updates are released. Find your next favorite web app, um, keyboard optimized for the web, which that stuff is kind of cool. I mean, the, the shortcuts are... Um, Pretty neat. So you've got the back, forward, reload, full screen, and next tab, um, which are all things that you use frequently on the web. At least I do. I always have a million tabs open and I'm always jumping around. So that's a pretty cool feature that will probably help productivity once you get used to it. Screen brightness, um, pretty, that's uh, kind of cool, I guess. There's a mute, which can come in huge amounts of handy. Volume controls and the power button. Uh, then they've got the Wi-Fi and 3G. Of course, the Wi-Fi version of the Samsung Chromebook will cost $429, and the 3G version, if you opt for that, will cost $499, and you'll get a uh, two years of service with 100 megabytes, I believe, per month. So, oh, and they, uh, it says it right down here. Start using your 100 megabytes of data by clicking the network icon, and you just connect directly to Verizon Wireless. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and, you know, 100 megabytes isn't going to get you watching movies. You don't want to do that on your 100 megabytes. But you can check your email um, and do, you know, some simple tasks, work with documents, use instant messaging and stuff like that. So I'm still disappointed in this whole, uh, oh, there we go. As soon as I say I'm disappointed, he got a little jealous or, dis or shy or whatever you want to call it. He heard me talking smack. So the Chrome, here we go. Now we've got to go and uh, got that set up. Sorry, really, bro. Pretty sure that I'm. There we go. I can't read that. I hate these things. What does that say? Nerwur... Really? Uh, you gotta be kidding me. Well... It's so easy, not even a caveman could do it. Choose a picture to display. Well, I am clearly going to be this robot. Droid. <clears throat> and it looks like it takes us directly to a few different 
Oh, it look it, oh, I guess cuz I'm uh it's got my own Gmail set up here. That's why it's got the Android theme going on from my from my own personal Google account preferences. It takes me to Invisible Hand first. Now that you've installed Invisible Hand, what next? You prepared a short video which covers all you need to know to start saving money when shopping online. Really? So uh that's rather interesting. Here they ask us to so you shop, simply type the item you're looking for into Google, and Invisible Hand will get right to work. Once you've found your item, we'll show you a small notification so you can see where the best price can be found. Okay, so let's check out the Canon Rebel XS10 megapixel DSLR, which is at Amazon. And where is this whole invisible hand? Oh, there's the invisible hand. That's pretty cool. I will admit that's pretty cool. So they must have some promotional deal with either Google or Samsung or um, or Gilt to come kind of not pre-installed but uh, pre-open on here. So the next tab we've got is the introducing the Chromebook from Samsung's website. And lastly, master your touchpad, uh, which comes with I'll oh, try to click on the little uh, which comes from a I just did that I've got to do it on here uh, which comes on a right click thing two finger scroll so it gives you a little tutorial excellent yeah drag and drop oh this is interesting I did that though oh there you go. Cool. So a little tutorial to get you started. Didn't I just do that? Yeah, I guess I'm done with the tutorial now. So it'll just ask me to do it over and over again. Close the tab and you're ready for the web. So there we go. We're all set up. You can see a bunch of icons pre-installed in the upper right hand corner and uh, web page screenshots, Alexa, Google Calendar, Dropbox, iDropper, TechCrunch. These are actually ones that I tested out when I was using the other Chrome Netbook. So these again are just uh, tied directly into uh, my Google account, which is cool because I could log in anywhere and see all the stuff. I know this has gone on, oh my gosh, this has gone on for almost 13 minutes, so I'm going to jet, but um, stay tuned. I'm going to have a full review of the Samsung Chromebook, uh, and it's pretty funny because the one minute boot took longer than my entire review will probably take. Uh, but in any case, uh, thanks, this has been Rob from ChromeSpot.com, and stay tuned for more on the Samsung Chromebook and everything else Chrome.